Hi, I'm Dinesh Priyankar. Welcome to the Reporting Services 2008 video series. With this video, I'm going to show you the way of formatting text blocks individually inside a single text box with different style, which was impossible with Reporting Services 2005. Not only that, I'll be showing the way of combining data fields from a data set in a single text box, again, which was a bit difficult with Reporting Services 2005. Look at the report I have created with Reporting Services 2008. There are three columns, one for product, uh, one for a category, second one for subcategory, and third one contains two columns, two data fields. One is product, other one is comment. Note that they have been added to a single text box and they have been formatted differently. Now let's see how we can create this type of report with reporting services projects. Let me open the project I have created. I have already added a data source that connects with Ad AdventureWorks 2008 database. Let's open the toolbox and add a table data region. I'm going to use the existing data source. Done. For the query, let me open the query I have already written. This returns category, subcategory, product, and comments from AdventureWorks 2008 database. Let's copy and paste. Finish. I'm going to add product data field to this cell. Let me add a group for this product. Let's group it by subcategory. Let me add another group. This time, let's group it by category. I don't want these two columns, so I'm deleting them. Let's increase the width of these columns a bit. Let's preview and see whether it works fine. Yes, it works fine. Let's go back to the design and not this text box. The product has been added as a placeholder, or it has been added to a placeholder. Likewise, we can create many placeholders and have many data fields. Let me show you the way of adding another data field to the same text box. Before that, let me type something like this. And all we have to do is just right click on it and select this menu item, which is create placeholder. Let's give a name for this placeholder. With this drop down, we can select one of the data fields. Let's select comment. Note that there are two types of markup. One is none, other one is HTML. Let's select none and let me go to the font tab sheet and change the color of this placeholder. Let me select as italic, click OK. Let's preview and see. See, it has been added to the same text box, but it has been formatted with different styles. Let's go back to the design again. What I'm going to do is just double click on this product placeholder, then it opens the properties of placeholder. Let me go to the font. Let me change the color of this font and I'm going to select bold for this style. See the style. So this allows us to add different style for individual text blocks. Let's go back to the design again. Let me open the data set and I'm going to remove this query. Let me show you another query I have written. Same set of columns we are getting from this query. But this time, comment has been encased with some HTML tags. Let's copy this and paste. Click OK. And let me take the properties of this comment placeholder. And note that earlier we selected the markup type as none. This time, I'm going to select HTML. So basically, it takes all the HTML tags from this query and use it for making the style. Let's click OK and see preview. Note that now this style has been taken from this query or from these HTML tags. Hope you learned something from this video.